Ever wondered if there's a better way to look up information online? What if I told you there's now a search engine that works like a super smart research partner, answering questions even better than your usual Google search? Well, buckle up, because that's what AI search engines are all about. Google has been the king of online search since 1998, the place you would go to ask any question. What's the weather in Bali? Who's the best Marvel character? Or my personal favorite, why does my dog look at me like he's judging my life choices? But in 2023, something unexpected happened. Google's dominance started to slip. And the challengers? While they weren't traditional search engines like Bing, they were AI-powered upstarts such as Perplexity. And now ChatGPT has jumped into the ring with its launch of GPT Search. In the past, if you wanted an answer, you'd Google it, and you got a list of links. Oh, and the first several links were sponsored links or Google ads. Super annoying. You're scrolling past the sponsored links, you'd click a link that looked like it had information that you were searching for, read, go back to Google, and repeat. That was the process. But now, with AI search, it's different. Ask Perplexity a question, and it doesn't just find a link. It gives you an actual answer. It's like having a mini expert in your back pocket that's trying to give you exactly what you need in one go. Meanwhile, Google wants to keep you searching because it gets to show you more ads, which equal more cash money for Google. And unlike Google, AI searches are surprisingly clean. There's no ads yet. No clickbait, it's a completely different feel. Every day, billions of people turn to search engines for answers, or turn to Google for answers. In fact, as of October, 2024, Google processes more than 8.5 billion online searches every day. That compares to only 100 million for perplexity. And well, ChatGPT search is still the new kid on the block, so that data isn't available yet. Google is still very much the leader in this space, but that's changing quickly. And this generation of AI search engines could be good news for us, the users. To understand how this could affect the way we search for information online, let's take a look at how traditional search engines work compared to AI search engines. Google, Bing, Yahoo, they all work by indexing billions of web pages and ranking them based on relevance, keywords, and authority. It's a system that has made Google almost synonymous with the internet itself. But with so much information, these searches sometimes feel like a maze. You type in a question and you get a list. But usually what you actually want is a straight answer. Enter ChatGPT search and perplexity. These AI search engines operate in a totally different way. Instead of giving you a list of links, they try to answer your questions directly. Powered by large language models or LLMs, they're trained to understand context and deliver information like a conversation. AI search engines aren't just smarter. They're also more nuanced. As I explained in my video, Master Perplexity in Minutes, AI search engines don't index websites. Instead, they search for what you need in real time. It's a lot like talking to a knowledgeable friend who's read every page of the internet and can give you the most up-to-date and accurate information on the spot. So when ChatGPT or Perplexity give you an answer, they're generating that response in real time, while also considering the data that they were trained on. It's as if Google and AI had a baby. Why should we care? Imagine no more scrolling through endless pages to find a simple answer for students, researchers, really anyone who is looking for precise information, this could save you hours. It's also more personalized. Instead of sifting through sources, you get information tailored to your specific question. Perplexity, for example, asks clarifying questions after giving you its initial response. This helps Perplexity better understand what it is that you're after. And because AI is always learning, these engines will only improve over time. We live in a society that craves efficiency and quick solutions, and that's what AI search is. But there are some real concerns too. AI doesn't always get things right. Sometimes it confidently gives you incorrect answers, a problem called hallucination. And without direct links to sources, verifying accuracy can be tricky. Both Perplexity and ChatGPT have made improvements to reduce these errors. And now with ChatGPT's search, you can see the sources. Sourced links is also something that Perplexity offers. 
but it's still something that users need to keep in mind. Always make sure to double check critical information. Oh, and I'm Tam, in case we haven't met yet. Keep watching because this gets good. And if you've learned something, please hit that thumbs up button so I know to create more videos like this one. Okay, so Google isn't standing still. In response to these new competitors, it's actually doubling down on its own AI projects like Google Gemini and AI overviews. Some of you may remember May 2024 when Google rushed its version of AI search to the market, only to face fierce criticism for providing potentially dangerous advice. Things like adding non-toxic glue to pizza sauce to prevent cheese from sliding them. Yeah, that really happened. That advice actually originated from an 11-year-old satirical Reddit post that the AI misinterpreted as legitimate advice. Ugh, not the best look, Google. Other erroneous suggestions included advertising users to eat rocks for better digestion and suggesting pregnant women should smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. These incidents highlight the added pressure on established companies like Google to get AI right straight out the gate. Meanwhile, the broader challenge faced by all of these companies is ensuring accuracy in AI-generated content. And that's tricky because LLMs train on data that's created by humans and humans make a ton of errors. There's also a lot of bias in the content that these LLMs are training. Ultimately, Google understands that users are starting to expect answers and not just links. So we're seeing a race, Google, ChatGPT, Perplexity, and others are all vying to become your go-to source for information online. Here's what I think. In the near future, search engines will be a lot more like personal assistants. Whether you need a quick fact, a deep dive into a topic, or help brainstorming, AI-powered search engines could make this instant and intuitive. And as competition heats up, we might just see the best answers win. But for now, Perplexity is my go-to search engine. In fact, it was voting day here in the United States when I filmed this video. And when I asked ChatGPT search what time polling stations opened in my area, it couldn't get me an answer. Whereas Perplexity instantly confirmed stations would be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it included important details to help me locate the assigned voting area, information as to what was on my ballot, and a ton of other great resources. This is the future of online search, and it's here now. At the end of the day, this competition might mean better, more accessible information for all of us. Are you ready to try out these new tools? Let me know in the comments what you think about AI search engines. Are they the future, or do you still trust Google?